Joining me now, CNN National Security Analyst James Clapper, the former Director of National Intelligence. So good to have you on, sir. Uh, good yes, evening sir. to you. Uh, Director Clapper, there have been so many developments in this Russian investigation, and I want to ask you first about new information that was first reported in the New York Times tonight that Special Counsel Mueller is asking the White House for documents directly related to the President's actions and behavior while in office. How do you read what Mueller is asking for? Well, first, Don, I, I don't have any inside baseball in any of this, so I'm just drawing inferences like uh, everyone else is. And to some extent, this reminds me of the metaphor about uh, lots of uh, blind people touching the elephant and trying to describe the elephant. I would say, though, that it appears to me that the, uh, uh, the scope of the investigation is broadening and deepening as the requests for information, as they have been reflected in the, in the media reporting, uh, seems to be getting more and more pointed and more and more uh, specific. So uh, I don't, you know, I don't know where this is all going to lead. I don't know uh, if, you know, this is implicating the president or not, but... Well, that's what I was going to ask you. Does this mean the president the, could be the central focus of, of Mueller's probe? Well, it's... Again, uh, the inference you, you could draw is that uh, uh, he is, but, um, you know, I don't know that. Uh, I, I would say, and I've said this uh, some time ago when uh, former Director Mueller was uh, first appointed to the position of special counsel, that if there, if his, in his estimation, there was no there there, he'd say so. Uh, it appears at least from what's going on, there is there there. And I, I don't exactly know where this is going to lead. But I'll also repeat something I've said uh, on more than one occasion, is that it is so critical that, that this whole process, whether in the Congress or certainly the investigation of the special counsel, uh, come to a conclusion that is then uh, uh, transparently uh, explained uh, to uh, the American people. CNN also has some exclusive reporting involving Paul Manafort, President Trump's former campaign chairman, specifically that investigators got a FISA warrant to wiretap Manafort before and, Manafort before and after the election. What's your reaction to that? Well, I can't comment on a specific FISA order. I, I said some things about this on uh, Meet the Press on the 5th of March and uh, I stand on the, uh, on that statement. Uh, I can't uh, I can't so confirm or deny. I just I, so, I just sir. Don't let me know. play it and then get your so just to remind people of what you said. And this is what you said to Chuck Todd. This was back in March, and as you said on Meet the Press. And then we'll we'll finish up. Let me start with the president's tweets uh, yesterday. Um, this idea that maybe President Obama ordered an illegal wiretap of his offices. If something like that happened, would this be something you would be aware of? I would certainly hope so. Uh, I, I can say, obviously I'm not, I can't speak officially anymore, but uh, I will say that for the part of the national security apparatus that I oversaw as DNI, there was no such wiretap activity mounted against uh, the, pres uh, pr the president elect at the time or as a candidate or against his campaign. Uh, I can't speak for uh, other Title III mm -hmm. authorized uh, entities in the government or uh, a state or local entity. Yeah, I was just going to say, if the FBI, for instance, d had a FISA court order of some sort for a surveillance, would that be information you would know or not know? Yes. You would be told I, this. I would know that. If there was a FISA court order yes. on something like this. Um, something like this, absolutely. And at this point, you can't confirm or deny whether that exists? I can deny it. There is no FISA court order? Not, not to my knowledge. Of no. anything at Trump Tower? No. Okay, so the, the president's allies say that the fact that Manafort was wiretapped proves that the president was right to accuse the former president of wiretapping him, and you were wrong. What's your response? Well, I, again, I, I stand on that statement that you just uh, replayed, uh, and I cannot comment on the media reporting, uh, which is all we have, about uh, uh, a FISA warrant uh, allegedly lodged against uh, uh, Mr. Manafort. I, I, I can't comment on that. I will simply re reiterate uh, what I said in March, uh, and I stand on that. Yeah, and that there is, as far as Trump Tower being wiretapped, according to the president, you're, you say what? 
I stand on what I said on the 5th of March on Meet the Press as you just uh, replayed it. Okay. So did you know, and I hate to keep, I just want to, just for clarity, because there's been a lot of reporting on this, right? And people on, on, on you know, especially those supporters of the president are saying, oh, here's proof, here's proof. So did, did you know about a FISA warrant against Paul Manafort at the time? I did not. You did not. Okay. And, I, and I, again, I have to say that what we have is media reporting only. Mm -hmm. And actually uh, commenting on, you know, FISAs are classified. And so, uh, you know, even if I knew something about it, I couldn't, and I don't. And, and I, again, I, I will just conclude by saying I stand on what uh, I said on the 5th of March. Is it possible the president was picked up in a conversation with Paul Manafort? Uh, it's, it, it's certainly conceivable. Yeah, Is that's, it likely? Uh, I can't say. I, uh, I wouldn't want to go there, but it, I will say it, it's, 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 it's possible. Okay. The Washington Post is also reporting tonight that, that while Paul Manafort was working for Donald Trump, uh, he offered to privately brief a Russian oligarch, uh, Oleg Deripaska, on the campaign. How would the Russians interpret that, Mr. Clapper? Well, uh, obviously, a, uh, you know, perhaps a, a, they would regard it perhaps as a winning accomplice. Uh, again, as part of their overall uh, campaign to uh, uh, interfere with the election. So if they had a, a, w a witting and willing uh, participant who would engage with them, talk to them, who uh, in their mind had some inside uh, access or influence in the campaign, which uh, at one point Mr. Manafort certainly did, uh, I think they would view that as a, uh, a favorable line of uh, exploitation. I have to ask you about the meeting the president uh, had with the, in the Oval Office with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and the former ambassador Sergei Kislyak, where President Trump bragged about firing Comey to the Russians, saying uh, it relieved great pressure on him. People on both sides of the aisle grasped at the, these pictures, or gasped, I should say, at these pictures. Do you think th that that moment will come back to haunt President Trump? Well, it could. Uh... It's not to say that, that such meetings are, not, are, are inappropriate. I, I personally was uh, uh, somewhat taken aback by that from, uh, from, if no other point of view, the, just the security standpoint uh, in light of the fact that only Russian media, media were permitted uh, in the Oval and only Russian photographers were allowed to take pictures. Mm -hmm. So I, I trust they were uh, uh, closely uh, screened. And just the... Uh, uh, the notion of uh, this uh, solici solicitousness with the Russians uh, has been, uh, for me at least, uh, bothersome, uh, particularly in light of uh, the uh, demonstrated interference uh, in, uh, in, our, in our election. And, it, and it, it's appearing more and more to me that uh, the intelligence community assessment that we published on the 6th of January may have only been uh, perhaps the tip of the iceberg. Can I ask you, I just want to go back to and get your response to something, because on September 2nd, this president's own Justice Department said that there was no evidence to support the president's claim that President Barack Obama offered uh, wiretapping of Trump Tower during the 2016 presidential campaign. Again, as the Justice Department said in a new court filing, wouldn't the Justice Department, his Justice Department, know about if there was a FISA warrant, if there was any sort of wiretapping on Trump Tower? Yes, absolutely. And, and they, I believe uh, Director Comey said much the same thing in his testimony on March 16th before the House Permanent Select Committee for Intelligence. So the president's own Justice Department came to the conclusion after investigating that there was no wiretapping of Trump Tower. But that's, that's, what, that's, that's what I draw from that, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Clapper. I appreciate it. Thanks, Don.